clean those once a week as well. It takes, uh, it takes an entire day. I could probably get it done in a half day, but uh, it takes an entire day, people. <laughs> um, so I'm allowed to tour the uh, Bonobos facility now to check the water spigots on bike. I told them that relaxed me after my terrible experience uh, while working for them. Uh, Relax me is very, very important. Uh, and I wanted to actually talk about, uh, and I'm, I'm, I forgot your name. I just did a, a video reply, and uh, I can't recall it now. But you basically said, uh, when I talked about on the Hitting Bullies, um, when I said, sometimes uh, I like this one spout. The fact that it's oddly uh, asymmetrical when it, it shouldn't be uh, just tickles me pink. The whole uh, measure twice, cut once rule. Um, I said that, you know, your uh, b a bully's upbringing, um, you know, where they live, say they live in a job, totally poverty ridden uh, area, um, and that might lead them uh, to a life of feeling fear and a lack of control and uh, that maybe things might get out of hand and they almost make things get out of hand is just kind of a relief from that. Um, you know, that maybe getting in trouble will have, uh, I don't know, some sort of positive effect. Like maybe even being uh, talked to by the principal so they could talk, you know, like, what's going on for you? And, um, you know, can, and then the kid could say, can you help me? And then, you know, the principal would say, no, not really. Um, but I could talk to your parents. <laughs> Here's our above water, uh, above water tanks are our below facility, uh, water supply. Both our power and our water comes from above ground, and then we are below ground, which, uh, strikes me as odd. Um, but here's the thing. So yeah, you could grow up, I wasn't saying that growing up in that kind of environment, uh, is going to do that. I said, um, that I thought it might be the case for some of these people, because someone else mentioned that uh, the rich kids are the bullies uh, when they grew up. Um, and uh, I knew a rich kid, uh, and he just desperately wanted his parents to be a little bit more boundary instituting. Uh, so he did everything uh, to make his parents say, all right, no more of that, you're home by right after school, and I want you to, you're gonna su submit your homework to me. You know, but they never did that, so he just kept acting out harder and harder and harder. Um, but then there's all those people in the middle that just, like, you know, I'm just going to survive this, and then I'm going to go about my life as best I can. And you can't say that it's not going to affect you or uh, shape you in some way. Um, so some people, like you say, like, you had all the, all the things that I listed, you had them all happen to you in your life. Um, but then, if I, if I remember correctly, you wrote to me that you were in uh, loss prevention. Uh, so essentially, you're a, f a form of enforcement uh, for the system. And uh, some people steal uh, pathologically. Uh, some people steal uh, to supplement as, almost as a business. I know uh, like eBay and those companies are starting to work better with uh, um, companies that are having uh, lots of loss. Uh, some of them were going, uh, going, uh, trying to get federal um, pro uh, persecution, prosecution um, on people that are uh, serial shoplifters. One guy I was just reading about uh, does several hundred miles of uh, the I-5 stretch and ran a really successful uh, eBay business. High marks, says all his customers. Um, but here's the thing, like... Some people might become bullies or lawless, and some people actually might be attracted to a system that institutes laws or rules or enforcement or uh, behavior. Um, and I'm not saying that's how why you ended up in LP. And I'm not necessarily even saying that's why bullies end up who they are. What I'm saying is you can't, you can't ignore the fact that it is going to have some kind of effect. Uh, and that effect might make you a bully, or might make you a loss prevention person. Or it might turn you into a pilot that just tries to ruin every Earl video ever made. Alright, well, anyway, I, I think I pretty much said everything I have to say. I got this tricky bridge coming up. So, uh, I'll see you in the tubes. Guy who I can't remember their name, who I'll probably put in the title. as some sort of 
social gesture of uh, forgiveness asking? Yeah, see the tubes.